milestone like this, what we are really celebrating is our confidence in the future. And in that spirit, I would like to directly address the young people in this audience and those watching at home. Of which there are plenty. You should be very proud to be Barbadians. You should be proud of the country that your parents and grandparents have built. Now it is your time to honour the work of the generations that have come before you. It is up to you to write the next 50 years of this country's story. <laughs> like other young people around the world, the young people of Barbados face challenges. You look into the future and wonder how technology will change your lives. You wonder how you obtain the skills and resources to compete in a rapidly changing world. And I know that you worry about the impact climate change will have on island nations like yours. What I say to you is this. The solutions to these challenges will not come from anyone else. The answers must come from you. Good things happen to good people. Believe you can make change. And if you lead by example, others will follow. When Barbados marks 100 years of independence, it will be your contribution that will be judged. And we need every one of you to do all that you can so that in 2066, we have reason to throw an even bigger party than we are throwing tonight. I know that so many young Barbadians are already making a big impact. What I've seen throughout the region and in here in Barbados is that anyone looking for young role models will find them here in the Caribbean. <laughs> 